Hey guys, I thought I would come back with another video. So, uh, previously I had stated that I want to live forever. But before I do that, maybe I should actually define what life is. So I understand what I'm doing because it's going to be forever. Right? What if I got tired of life? And I didn't want to live anymore. You know? Like, what if that happened? Well, before I try, before I decide that I want to live forever, maybe it would be more helpful if I actually understood what life is. So, let's see what they say. I don't know. What is life? Now, I want to say the definition of life and the meaning of life are two different things. The definition of life is what it literally is. And the meaning of life is up to you. But this says, life is defined as any system capable of performing functions such as eating, metabolizing, excreting, breathing, moving, growing, reproducing, and responding to external stimuli. Okay? But basically, it's a system performing functions. Um... So basically, it's just a machine. It's just a, it's just a machine doing things. That's all it is. Can that? Can there be an end to that? Does, it, does there have to be an end to that? Is the question. What is? What's the this definition? Life is a quality that distinguishes matter that has biological processes such as signaling and self-sustaining processes for matter does not and is defined by the capacity for growth. Hmm. Let me consider, continue reading this. You know what? This is Wikipedia. I don't want to read this. Let's see this one. Life on Earth first appeared as early as 4.2 billion years ago. Soon after ocean formation, 4.41 billion years ago, not long after the formation of Earth 4.55 billion, 4 .54 billion years ago. Hmm. Okay. So, in order for life to exist, it has to begin, right? But does it need to have an ending? I guess that I guess that's one of the questions I'm trying to answer right now. Does life need to have an ending? Let's think about death. Death has a beginning, but it doesn't have an ending. Okay, so if death has a beginning and life doesn't and and, and doesn't have an ending. Let's, let's think about time for a moment. A period of time has a beginning, and the change is the ending. Time has a beginning, and time has an ending. When we're talking about one event, the process of being alive. Let's imagine that that's an era, an era where a person lived. They were born, they lived their life, then what happens? Two things can happen. They can either stay alive or they can die. Hmm. I feel like most times people die. But is it possible to, to not die? And to stay alive longer? Indefinitely? That's the thing. If life, life without an ending would be no different than death. Because then, just like death, life would have a beginning, but not an ending.
that's the point. You see, it's a transition. It's the it's a difference between existence and non-existence. Why choose to not exist when we can exist? Sure, when we die, we have less things to do than when we die. This life is over. And then what happens? What do we see after death? It's just another place. It's the, it's the place of non-existence. We no longer exist because we are in death, but we exist in non-existence. We exist in extinction. But there's another way to exist. You can exist in story and in legend and in art. But why die? Because most people die? Should we die because most other people die? Or what if we found a way to live forever? Eternal life. Hasn't this not been the quest always? I think it's time to, set, to take a step back and realize that I'm an organism. And like all organisms, I have an ending. I have an expiration date. In order to become, in order to, to remove my expiration date, I would have to become unhuman. It was not something I want to do. It's not something I understand. It's not something I'm made for. A true human dies. A true organism dies. The fact that it dies is what gives value of time that it existed. If I'm human and I want to exist in this realm, then I want to die one day. One day I want to die. I want to die naturally because I was born naturally. I was born into this world. I was born. If I was not born, then I would not be here. And then I will die because I am human. All humans die. In order to, to not die is to not be human. And we're not made for that. Like Albert Einstein once said, don't judge a fish for not riding a bike. For not riding a bike, yes. I will die. And that'll be the end of it. And I want to die. Because I'm human. What more can I say? This is the path.